right, so we're down here in Seekaville hunting again. Got Jacob with me. I'm gonna see if we can't get to your first Seeka deer. Seeka time, baby, I'm excited. Coming in this morning, not that it means anything, but we saw three stags on the side of the road and two of them were some bruisers. So, got us pretty pumped up for it. Yesterday I had a good day, saw a bunch of deer, should have shot and just it didn't, didn't things didn't work out. Um, too noisy, wind direction, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully today is a little bit different and um, we can put something down. So Got let's get it. No, we're wasting time. Let's get after it. All right.
some blood. Yeah. It's uh, it's not looking great. There's not a lot of blood on the arrow. I think I went in in the right spot, but because she was cornering too so much, I think I came out her guts. So. Yeah. But this you should have clipped at least one wound. I haven't seen any bubbles in the blood I've been finding. It's it's real dark. It'll be a long, slow track. This is really hard stuff to find blood. That's the blood. There is some bubbles there. But all right, quick little update. You can probably hear that maybe. Looking for Jacob's deer, didn't find a whole lot of blood. And uh, he ended up going pretty close to where the last time he had heard movement was walking down this trail, looked over and saw her. She was staring back at him. I don't know much of the story because they're still out there just a little bit, but put an arrow, another arrow in her. And I can hear her breathing hard now. She sounds like it's a definitely a lung hit. So now we're just biding our time. Well, yeah, son. Yeah, baby. First seek of deer ever. Man, they're pretty. That was not the way I wanted it to go down. Did you explain what happened? A little bit. So I was just. We couldn't find any blood. Blood once we got into this frag. So I just kept trying to look back at the tree I was sitting in and I'd heard her come into this frag and stop. And then a while later, I heard some more movement right there. So I just went poking around looking for her and I walked like five feet from her because that's about all you can see in this stuff. And I had to put one more in her, but that's not the way I wanted that to go down. But I'm glad we found her because I was going to be sick to my stomach if, if I knew I'd put an arrow all the way through this deer and couldn't yeah. find it. All right, well... I'm gonna get that arrow out of her and try to drag her out in the open. Look at her. Mine down. Holy crap, that happened fast. Yeah, baby. I was just sitting here, and uh, here comes this hind running down this trail. All I had time to do was turn on this camera. I didn't even have time to hit the record button. Grab the remote for the tact cam. Turn both of them on, so hopefully they're on and recording. She comes up, stops at about 18 yards, and turns around, starts to go back. And earlier, Jacob and I had been right in here and this deer was standing right where Jacob shot his. <clears throat> Started to backtrack on itself a little bit. And I went, meh. And she stopped right there. <clears throat> at, I guessed it to be 20 yards. Perfect shot on her. She goes running up through the frag. Jacob's just laying down back there in the little clearing. Goes running up to that. Jacob's sitting there talking on the phone. <laughs> Here's his thing come crashing through the frag at him. <laughs> Sweet, baby. <laughs> Doubling up on Sikas. Be careful, you might step on her. So, the idea when you shoot any kind of deer is to have it run back towards the boat or the truck or wherever. And then it's also very helpful if they fall on the path that you need to go out on. That's really helpful, especially in this rag. And it's also nice when you're walking down here and you find fresh blood on the frag, on the trail. On the trail. Yeah, it doesn't get better. She's right there.
Yeah, baby. It was in blood. Long blood, too. Good shot. Is that the entrance there? Just where yeah. she was standing? Yep. Oh well, man. First one of the year. First deer out of the tree saddle. Yeah. Double it up with my brother Jacob. So let me show y'all what uh it's a good day. It's a really good day. Let's show y'all what happened here. <laughs> that deer died right there. I was back here trying to catch a nap. Right there, hanging out with my deer. And she went down right there and scared the hell out of me when she came crashing through here. I'm pretty sure she ran into this and that was the only thing that stopped her from running into me. <laughs> All right, man. Cool beans. Let's get her uh, cleaned up. This is how you get invited on a Sika hunt. Drag the deer out for the quote-unquote guide. Mr. Jacob doing some work. 